Hello, this is M Special. A Biafran agitating for Biafra freedom, talking about Biafra, Nigeria, Africa in general. You are highly welcome on M Special. We talk about freedom, 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 my freedom, the people, the Biafran people, and the freedom of Africa. We showcase everything that has to do with the promotion of Africa as the best continent is supposed to be, and the our loopholes, our challenges, and what we are doing, or the governments are doing to correct them or to enhance their pockets. Welcome to my subscribers and my viewers. And in case you are watching for the first time, you are highly welcome. And please do subscribe to M Special because the, subscri the subscription is saying yes to my freedom. Biafran people are those you meet or see in the eastern part of the zoo or the British company called Nigeria. We were there before the British came to West Africa. They created their company called Nigeria to mess us up. And we want to be as we were before their entrance. But in this video, I want to show now. Did you know that Buhari is from Niger Republic? Has it done to you that Buhari is dead? Or are you still doubting it? Did you know that the people ruling you if you call yourself a Nigerian, that more than half are from Niger Republic, the journalists in Nigeria knew this. That's why we call them the gutter journalists. But listen, and please do like, do share, and do support by subscribing to M Special. Let's go on straight to this piece of writing. Buhari is from Niger Republic. What's going on? By Baron Roy. The making of an emir. A couple of years back, I had some business concerns in some neighboring countries where I had to appear in person. After the business day, I would go about in the evening to feel the locality and attempt to understand the people. In all the countries near Nigeria, something profound struck me. The Hausa and Fulani community in the countries were substantial. Being of Nigeria with a fair understanding of the Hausa and Fulani peoples and a working knowledge of the Hausa language subconsciously, I gravitated more towards them and I learned a great lesson. The Hausa and Fulani in Ghana, Togo, Benin Republic, Niger and Nigeria do play the national politics of their official country, but do not see themselves as from different countries in reality. What this means is that the artificial boundaries drawn up by the Europeans in 1990, in 1896, are not recognized by them in their hearts. They only take advantage of those artificial boundaries to further their emir, but do not actually respect them. Shocking. Absolutely true. With this philosophy in mind, the Hausa in Ghana would 
endear himself with that from Niger and treat him better than Fante from the western province of Ashante from the Cape Coast. The Hausa of Fulani in Bauchi is more culturally attached to his kinsman from Niger and Togo, far ahead of his attachment to the Igbo or Yoruba. The Hausa Fulani Kingdom in West Africa made up a huge percentage of the Western Sudan. The original name of the huge country before it was carved up in 1896 by the Vovoristic Europeans. It was a calamity that ought not have been. This was a most profound experience for me. I returned to Nigeria thoroughly sober and with more knowledge of why the Ariwa part of Nigeria act towards Nigeria as it does. The Ariwa Nigeria sees the country as a resource tool for the greater Hausa Fulani kingdom, the Caliphate. In recent times, the non-Ariwa or non-Caliphate Nigerians have been aghast as the investment flowing towards Niger Republic. The influx of Fulani from all over West Africa into Nigeria. The rail line from Maradi to Daura. The crude oil supply agreement from Niger Republic to Kaduna. The refinery construction on the border between Daura and Madugri. The refined product supply from Niger to Nigeria. <clears throat> and the borderless existence between Niger and Nigeria. Between Northern Benin and Nigeria. Between Chad and Nigeria. Why the borders between Southern Cameroon, Cameroon and Southern Benin Republic are closed and guarded by lions. People have expressed surprise. People have actually been shocked. But the only person shocked are Southern Nigerians. The Ariwa Nigerians actually regard the surprise of the Southern Nigerians as extremely naive. And I agree with them. Southern Nigerians are absolutely naive. The investment and borderless existence of Northern Nigeria with their kinsmen in Niger, Chad, Northern Benin, Northern Cameroon, etc. are seen as boast for the greater caliphate of Fulani with their Hausa cousins. In truth, it is not meant to undermine Nigeria as they see the artificial country as a tool to enhance the real country of their hearts. Unfortunately, Nigeria is inadvertently undermined, undermined. It is important for us all to understand the underlying factors that make the caliphate act like they do. A significant proportion of the Fulani elites, especially those in government, do not have origin in Nigeria. Are you hearing that? Most of the governors are Fulani and most have their fathers or grandfathers immigrate to Nigeria only a generation before they were born. Most of their national assembly members did immigrate to Nigeria too. 
we have had several heads of states that we are never Nigerians in the true sense. Even Mr. Buhari's father was not a Nigerian, but his mother was Nigerian, Kanuri. Mr. Buhari's father was a poultry trader from Maradi in Niger Republic. He traded dots between Maradi and Daura. He was called Mai Agwawa, the dock trader, and fell in love with his wife, with whom Mr. Buhari was said. But the young Mohammadu grew up with his mother's people in Daura and became Nigerian. So, our dear president is actually from Niger Republic by parentage, but a Nigerian through his mother or by birth. Just so we know the origins. Almost all elites of Fulani origin, origins in Nigeria have at least a family home in Niger Republic and work in northern Nigeria. The bond between Niger Republic and the core north of Nigeria is stronger than the, band, than the binding force of natural magnets. For all intent purposes, Niger, Niger Republic, Chad Republic, Northern Ghana, Northern Togo, Northern Benin, and Northern Cameroon are bound by culture, religion, philosophy, and all have view to Northern Nigeria. This vast area would have been one giant official country that would compete with Saudi Arabia in influence and riches. The Europeans came along and destroyed that great empire with their kunin. But the empire is not done yet. They are rebuilding it with a can you hear that? Epic center in northern Nigeria. And the wealth of the north south under the shame arrangement of 1914 is being used now to accelerate, accelerate the re-emergency of a vast empire of the, we of the Western Sudan, with Fulani at the apex. These are the facts that we don't dispute. We do not grudge them, their empire. We want restructuring or separation so that we could also build our little empire in peace. They do not want us to have an empire in any way whatsoever. Herein lay the axe. The fight is really not about Nigeria. It is the emergence of empire in the neighborhood and those that shall control the resources. Nigeria is just a victim of the scrambled resources in this empire building project of the caliphate and the dissonant response of the ethnic nationalities of southern Nigeria. The 1999 Constitution of Nigeria is the greatest tool regress, regressing Nigeria and the constituent nations trapped within. The lack of understanding and the absence of strategy among the southern Nigeria nations is most devastating and they suffer thereof for their inordinate ordinate lacks of we all can see and know what we are struggling for you have heard it bring forth your comments let us hear that is why every infrastructure building every railway every petroleum refinery 
is going to Niger Republic. It's visible. And unfortunately, like my first video I will put here said, the people that they made minister from the South are the ones championing to see that this is a reality. Completing that, those projects while their own parts is left with nothing. Where this oil is coming from. And I ask, who is to be blamed? Just like foolish Wike will boast of tearing off the heads of his own people that voted him in and not even caring to tell their parents of their whereabouts, burying them like a vulture. From his own mouth, he said it. Do have a wonderful weekend. If you are informed, you will not be deformed. But when you are not informed, you will surely be deformed. And if you hear this and you are not sick, then that means you also do not know when you are sick as a person. Do have a wonderful weekend.